elephants are large, majestic, and beautiful yet dangerous animals. When a crying and injured elephant approached some rangers in Zimbabwe's Manapools National Park, they noticed something very strange and concerning. It wasn't until they got a closer look that they realized exactly what had happened to him. Zimbabwe's Manapools National Park is located in the far north of the country, and it is known for the large amounts of wildlife visible around the river and the floodplains. Large and dense populations of elephants, hippos, and crocodiles gather in the famous Long Pool, while lions wait for prey around the waterhole at Chitaki Spring. Animals live in relative peace and harmony, safe from the dangers of the outside world. There is an abundance of wildlife, and that's what makes this national park so special. It wasn't unusual to see rhinos hanging around with hippos, or crocodiles placidly laying on the banks of the waters as deer quietly drank. It's what made the park so peaceful. But at 219,600 hectares, 540 acres, it covered a lot of area. If you were looking for a specific animal, the task may prove nigh impossible without some kind of trackers or assistance. There were plenty of rangers around though, patrolling the areas, keeping an eye on animals, checking in on sick or injured critters, and on rare occasions chasing away poachers that had strayed into the park in order to shoot and bring home a prize. For the most part though, there was very little drama or cause for concern. That was until something very strange happened one day as a team of rangers were driving through the territory owned primarily by the large and brash elephants. Things were quiet as usual, and nothing much seemed to be going on. Midday was upon them, so they decided to pull into the shade of a tree and have a break and drink some water in the relative coolness. But then, out of the distance, started lumbering an elephant. A huge male bull elephant at that. While many people believe elephants to be gentle and cute animals, they are often angry and violent too. They can be extremely territorial, and their anger combined with their size can make them extremely formidable opponents. Rangers tended not to spend time around the large bull elephants at all, as they were prone to attack and charge their vehicles without any warning. Their tusks could easily pierce the windows and doors and cause fatal injuries. So when one bull elephant, known as Pretty Boy, started to make his way towards the vehicle, they were ready to speed away and to safety. It wasn't worth the risk of hanging around. Fully grown male elephants can stand up to 4 meters or 13 feet tall and weigh in at up to 6,000 kilograms or 15,000 pounds on average. It takes around 35 to 40 years for males to reach their full size, and they can live in the wild for up to 60 to 70 years. Male elephants are super strong too. In fact, they can carry up to 9,000 kilograms or 20,000 pounds, which is equivalent to the weight of 130 adult humans. It's no wonder why the rangers were so hasty to get out of the massive elephant's path. But just before the ranger behind the wheel turned on the ignition and started to drive away, he noticed something was wrong with the elephant. It seemed to be walking towards them, almost as if it were in a daze. It had tears in its eyes too, and streaks of water running down its dusty cheeks, indicating that it was crying. This was enough to cause the rangers to pause. Pretty Boy continued to walk slowly towards the vehicle, but he was displaying no aggressive behavior. In fact, it seemed as if he was trying to get their attention, as if it were begging for help. It was rare to see an elephant cry. Yes, elephants are intelligent, complicated, and emotional animals. They feel many of the same emotions that we humans do, and even celebrate good things happening, while also mourning the loss of one of their own. But to see an elephant truly upset is a rare thing. When they feel such emotions, they tend to stick close to others in their herd. So for Pretty Boy to be so openly approaching the rangers in such a state of emotional distress was something that caused everyone quite a bit of worry. Looking closer, the elephant seemed to be injured. He was crying tears of pain. Now, elephants did often get injured on the preserve. Sometimes they slipped 
tripped and fell, causing cuts and bruises on their body or even breaking bones. Other times, bull elephants would get into fights with each other and inflict huge, painful-looking gashes on their opponent's body. But Pretty Boy wasn't sporting any of those kinds of injuries. In fact, his injury looked decidedly abnormal. It was causing the rangers so much concern that they decided to radio for one of their colleagues that specialized in elephants and elephant treatment to come out with a tranquilizer gun. If they wanted to get a closer look, sedating it was the only way. It took the specialist vet around 45 minutes to reach the scene. All the while, Pretty Boy just stood there, looking pleadingly at the rangers. They used binoculars to try to get a closer look at the injury, but they couldn't make out too much. Not at that distance, and not with Pretty Boy wobbling and rocking so wildly. All they knew was that there was some kind of bleeding injury on his head, and that it looked very painful. No one could fathom what had happened to the poor elephant, but they were all shaken to their very cause when they eventually found out. The specialist arrived and leveled his tranquilizer gun at Pretty Boy, firing it into his left-hand side. Almost immediately, the giant elephant fell to its knees, rolling and landing on its side. The rangers still gave it a few minutes until they approached, just to make sure that he was actually tranquilized. Soon enough, though, they started to slowly approach, straining to see what had caused the injury. Whatever it was, they would have to work fast. Pretty Boy would only be unconscious for around 30 minutes, maybe less. One of the rangers stood back and looked for signs that he was awakening, while the team got to work studying and treating the animal. They took blood samples, looked over his entire body, and made their way to Pretty Boy's head to check out the most obvious wound that he had. But what they saw shocked and appalled them. It was worse than any of them had feared. It seemed that Pretty Boy had been shot in the forehead, most probably by a poacher. There was a round hole that was surrounded by blood and weeping quite heavily. Thankfully, the bullet had not broken through his skull and pierced his brain. If it had, Pretty Boy would have died there and then. This elephant was both lucky and unlucky at the same time. He was unlucky because he had been shot, but lucky because he had survived it. It seems the poacher who shot him must have been inexperienced at bringing down animals of that size. The round was far too small to kill an elephant, but it had still caused a lot of painful damage. The impact of the bullet had dazed poor Pretty Boy though, which is what was making him so placid and tranquil. The rangers and the vet worked hard to remove the bullet fragments from the hole and made sure that they flushed out the wound properly to avoid any infection taking hold. While the bullet hadn't brought Pretty Boy down, a nasty infection surely would. The team finished treating the elephant and retreated back to their vehicles, waiting for him to awaken. Eventually, he came around, seemingly confused and still somewhat dazed. He sat for a long while before heaving himself back to his feet. The vets would keep a close eye on Pretty Boy for the foreseeable future. He had been smart enough to go to the humans for help even though he had been injured by one of them. The rangers vowed to continue their fight to defend the elephants and other animals of the Manapools National Park and get rid of poachers forever. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you'd have been approached by a crying elephant? Would you have tried to help or would you have left it and let nature take its course? As always, we love to hear from you. So be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.